Some unfortunate injury news confronts the Lions just three days before their kickoff against the Seattle Seahawks at Ford Field. Let's talk about it in today's Lions Talk Live. During Camp Bell's address to the media today, just three days before the game against the Seattle Seahawks, the Detroit Lions head coach did point out that DeAndre Swift, in his opinion, would not be able to play this weekend against the Seattle Seahawks in what many people are calling a must-win game for the Detroit Lions. A win here pushes the Lions to 2-2 two and two in the first four games of the season with another week before the bye as they will finish up their pre-bye schedule against the New England Patriots in New England. Adding to the Lions' offensive potential problems for this weekend will be the further injury and concerns about Amarad St. Brown's right ankle. As probably most of you know, last Sunday against the Minnesota Vikings, St. Brown twisted the ankle while he did continue to play throughout the game, was not quite as effective as he's been in the last eight or nine games. Had a heck of a start to his season so far, and he finished with six receptions in that game, but the ankle injury did play a key role in his ability to get open, make cuts, and do his normal production. Lions coach uh, Dan Campbell said that it would take a bit of a miracle for either player to take the field Sunday. Moving on to talk about the topics with the defense, it is yet, as of yet, unclear who will replace Tracy Walker, the captain who tore his Achilles tendon early in last Sunday's game against the Minnesota Vikings. Dan Campbell and Aaron Glenn have played coy over who the Sunday starter will be in his place, just saying it's an open competition between multiple persons at this time. Other news for the Detroit Lions defense is the potential return of Jerry Jacobs as early as Monday to practice for the Lions. As probably most of you know, once they return him from injured designation to the active roster, the Lions will have three weeks to determine whether or not to add him permanently to the roster or if they need to keep him on IR even longer. Jerry Jakes would help identify a major problem with the Detroit Lions, the secondary woes. While uh, Jeff Okuda has stepped up his play to become potentially the Lions' number one cornerback and living up to the lofty expectations of the number three pick just years ago, other players in the Detroit secondary have at times struggled throughout the start of the season so far. So what does it all mean? Players in, players out. Here we have the Lions at 1-2 and two entering this weekend's game. And in my opinion, as I've mentioned in this video, it's a must-win game. Talk all you want as a coaching staff. Talk all you want as players, owners, whoever it may be. If the Detroit Lions are really going to convince us that this is a program changing, they have to win this game. Good players in, good players out, it doesn't matter. You've got the Seattle Seahawks flying from the other side of the country to come here. They've lost two games in a row. They've got a subpar offense, a less than stellar defense. This is a game you absolutely must win. If we're going to be a team that's really going to push for a playoff conversation, if we're going to be relevant in November or December, then this is the game they must win. Give anything they have to do to get that victory. But at the end of the day, if the Lions do not win here and go 1-3, and three, where's the grit? That's it for our first episode of Lions Talk Live. Thank you so much for watching. Please think about liking and subscribe. Maybe leave a comment in the section below. Take care.